Hello, I'm really pleased to welcome you to our land-based engineering virtual open event here at Caffrey Greenmount campus. We are situated halfway between the historic town of Antrim and Belfast Airport, only 20 miles from Belfast. I'm standing outside one of the many engineering workshops at Greenmount campus. Our student numbers continue to grow and today we have over 1,000 students now studying a range of courses in agriculture, horticulture, land-based engineering, floristry and veterinary nursing. Greenmount really has superb facilities and this combined with staff that have a very close association with the agri-food industry has led Greenmount to have an international recognised reputation for excellence. In fact, Many of the leaders in the agri-food industry today have passed through our doors and I credit Greenmount for their success. But perhaps, more importantly, it wasn't just the learning that they remember, but the lifelong friends and crack they had while they studied here. And that hasn't changed. The campus is always buzzing and there is a real sense of community spirit here, which people remember long after they graduate. It is a beautiful place to study, with a lot of investment in teaching and learning resources, and it doesn't stop there. Over the next number of years, there will be even more investment in student accommodation and science facilities. Greenmount really is the place to be, and has lots to offer. So welcome, and I hope you enjoy our land-based engineering virtual event. Good afternoon and um, welcome to our virtual open day at Greenmount Campus. Uh, my name is Manus McHenry, I'm Head of Education uh, at, at the campus. The range of courses that we are focusing on today include the land-based uh, engineering. Uh, Greenmount Campus is part of CAFRI, CAFRI operates three uh, campuses, one at Enniskillen which focuses on equine with its part-time provision in agriculture. Um, the campus at Lockery, which focuses on food technology and postgraduate courses. And here at Greenmount, where the focus is on agriculture, horticulture, forestry, um, veterinary nursing, and of course, land based engineering. I'm joined uh, this afternoon by Peter Verhoeven. Peter is one of the lecturers on the programmes. And Peter is going to provide uh, information and background to the courses that are on offer. So turn to you, Peter, if you could give me some information on the courses that Greenmount offers. Yeah, um, no, so as, as you said, Manus, I'm a, a lecturer on the land-based engineering course. So the full title of that there is the Advanced Technical Extended Diploma in Land-Based Engineering at Level 3. Um, so it's a Level 3 course um, and it's delivered over two years. Um, it's a relatively uh, split mix of 50% theory and 50% practical, and that there's taught in our Machinery and Building Centre, or, or as we know it as the MBC. Yep. Um, and th there is an element of uh, work placement which is equivalent of 150 hours or 20 days, um, so it is. Okay, and um, would most of your students then stay on campus? Yeah, um, the, the vast majority, I would say around 75% of uh, students both in first year and second year are living in. Um, so yeah, they avail of the, the facilities here in Greenmount and okay. all the social aspect that comes with staying in okay. Greenmount too. And have an engineering experience, is that a prerequisite for coming onto the programme? Yeah, um, it's uh, along with having four GCSEs at um, grade C and above, with uh, two of those GCSEs being at uh, a C in maths and a C in your English, um, we also uh, ask for 40 hours um, of previous uh, work experience. Uh, and that's just so that the students get a firm footing um, in knowing that that's the industry that they want yeah. to work in and that's yeah. what their, where their interest really lies. Yeah, yeah. And what type of work experience are you looking for? It's, it's basically um, in that industry of, of uh, agricultural engineering. So uh, this can be sort of carried out in, in a franchise dealership or an independent dealer or a, or a, a land-based engineer, agricultural service engineer, mechanic uh, that's independent to themselves. Okay, uh, you mentioned there that it's a mix of theory and practical work. Yep. Okay, so theory obviously in the classroom then, that practical work, where does that take place then? So it, it takes place, uh, the, the practical work on campus here, it takes place in the Machinery and Building Centre, as I said, the MBC. Um, and I suppose i give you just a bit of a breakdown of how that's being delivered at the minute. So our first years, um, they start their week on a Monday, um, Monday and Tuesday in uh, 
in the NBC undertaking practical work, and then the remainder of their work, it is a very full on course, it's a Monday to Friday, nine to five course. Um, so the rest of their week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they're spent in, uh, in the classroom. And then on the flip side of that, they're the second year group, um, they spend Monday and Tuesday doing their theory, and then the rest of their week is spent um, doing practical in the NBC. So learning by doing is front and centre to, to this particular programme? Yeah, very much so. Um, so they're covering a wide spectrum of um, practicals which is laid out um, through the course. Okay. And are there fees associated with the programme? Uh, uh, no, the, as, as it is, there's no, uh, no fees associated. Um, however, there is fees associated with uh, living in costs, um, but uh, students can apply for a means-tested grant, which is available. Okay, then. Uh, and if I want to find out more information about uh, the land-based engineering course, where would I find that? Yeah, it's 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 uh, detailed in the prospectus and it's also detailed on the caffrey.ac.uk website. Okay, uh, I think now is a good opportunity uh, for one of our, our students, uh, Ben Adams, who's going to give us a, a background to his experience uh, of the programme. Hello, my name is Ben Adams and I'm studying Level 3 land-based engineering at Greenmount. Uh, I completed my GCSEs and then I was looking for was looking for something to work at, I wanted to be a mechanic, but I didn't know where they go, whether they go to the tech or where they come here. So uh, we researched it and uh, I was looking at CAFRE and I looked like I really would enjoy the course. So I started in September 2020. CAFRE's, it's, CAFRE's good, yeah. Um, land-based engineering is definitely right up my street. If you like mechanic and you like screwing at trackers, that is, it's definitely all for you. Um, there is paperwork on it, it's not all line and blow track or screwing up machines. There is, there's a lot of hard work to put into it and a lot of good paperwork. But if you do your paperwork and put in the, put in the work, you will definitely welcome for it a lot. Uh, the course consists of two years. Um, you do a placement of 150 hours. I done my placement at uh, Place in Belfast, WAC McCannis. Uh Really, really like the placement. Uh, Trying to go and go back now on a day out basis from the work placement just to get out. Greenmount's uh, the LB team here is really good. They set you up everything you need. Um, all your lectures will help you, but you need to you really do need to put in the work, and that's the important bit. Uh, apart from that, that's it. It's a really good course, and it's definitely if you're into mechanic, and it's one you should choose. Thanks to Ben for that very helpful insight uh, into his career and his experience of the course courses to date. Uh, turning to yourself again, Peter, just on the uh, progression and opportunities when students finish, could you give me uh, some information in relation to that? Yeah, of, of course. course. Um, I suppose leaving here, the, the students really have, um, I suppose, now three routes um, to go to once once finishing the course. Uh, I suppose that the main, or the, I suppose the route that most students that complete this course is, is in the full-time employment. Um, and that there could be with um, an independent dealer, a franchise dealer, or um, an independent mechanic just working alongside. And some of these ones will progress and then go into go self-employed and maybe open up their own business. Um, the other option is that they go on to um, higher education. And so some students will study here at, at Caffrey um, on the agriculture or horticulture courses. But there is also further progression there if the students want to follow um, a route of agricultural engineering at degree level. Um, and that there uh, would generally be taken overseas at other uh, universities. Um, the, and then I suppose the final option there would be to do um, a, a, an apprentice. And so some students are going to follow in that route of um, apprenticeship with um, the sort of main, uh, main yeah. manufacturers in the UK. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, again, just I want to recap on, on the work experience, uh, Peter. Would the students who are uh, on work experience, would that be locally based or would they go further afield? Yeah, um, generally it is it's sort of somewhere local to them. Um, and and what, he called, what we do is we, we tend to actually allow the student to um, go and find their own uh, work placement. Um, however, if the student can't find their own work placement, we will be there to uh, give a hand. Now, what we do ask from the employer is that they have the correct insurances in place just to protect the, both the employer and to protect the, the student going out in placement. Okay, thanks for that, Peter. 
Uh, Greenmount prides itself on its excellent facilities uh, and the opportunity for students to learn and learn while they're studying. And it's probably one of the things that sets uh, Greenmount out uh, from other institutions that uh, are delivering programmes that are similar. Peter uh, pulled together a short video for us on those facilities. I'm now going to listen to Peter as he takes us on a tour of the uh, campus. Hi there and welcome to the Machinery Building Centre here at Greenmount Campus. My name is Peter Verhoeven and I am one of the lecturers on the land-based engineering course. CAFRI's ethos is learning by doing. As a result, we have very experienced staff and excellent practical facilities to support what you learn in the classroom. The Machinery Building Centre, otherwise known as the MBC, is where you as a land-based engineering student will spend a lot of your time developing knowledge and skills which are key to a successful career in the industry. Our facilities and equipment are very similar to those you will find in a modern machinery dealership. In the MBC, there are three workshops and classrooms. You will do some of your theory classes and all of your practical skills here. This is also the home of CAFRI tractor simulators, which are really good for training people to use a range of farm equipment in a safe virtual environment. To develop your practical skills, students have access to a wide and varied range of farm machinery including a number of tractors from several manufacturers, wheel loaders, self-propelled forage harvesters, a combine harvester and many other agricultural implements that are used on the Greenmount farm. Each of the three workshops focuses on different skills. Workshop 1 is used to carry out practical skills on hydraulic systems using the small wheel loaders, vehicle systems, inspection and repairs, that is your steering and brakes, You'll also get the chance to inspect and repair a combine harvester. Workshop 2 is where you'll undertake the task of completely stripping down and rebuilding Perkins diesel engines, work on and get a better understanding of electrics and electronics, and get the chance to strip down things such as alternators and starters. This workshop is also used for application, cultivation and drilling equipment, such as slurry tankers, fertilizer spreaders, ploughs and drills. In workshop three, which is by far the biggest, there are eight welding bays which you will develop and improve your welding and metalwork skills. You'll get the opportunity to use the electronic diagnostic equipment to identify faults in a modern tractor. Additionally, you'll get the chance to strip and rebuild semi-power shift transmissions and work on forage equipment, including mowers, rakes, and self-propelled forage harvesters. During the year, you'll get out and about on several industry visits. We also invite manufacturers, dealers and suppliers to host practical activities for you here on site. It's a great way to meet key people from industry who may be your future employer. Finally, two of the most popular clubs on campus for students are the Engineering Club and the Motor Club. The Engineering Club offers you the chance to work on your own engineering project, which can be anything from a log splitter to a cab trailer whereas the Motor Club allows you to service, repair and get a better understanding of cars. Both clubs are run in the evenings and are supervised by a number of CAFRI staff who have an interest in engineering and cars. I hope you now have a better idea of how fantastic the facilities here are at Greenmount, a key part of the land-based engineering course. Students who apply for the course are very passionate about machinery, so this is an ideal place for you to study. So thanks Peter for pulling together that, that video uh, and the tour of the uh, facilities that are on offer. Uh, just in relation to that again, any other reasons why a student would select Greenmount for example to study this programme before other uh, institutions? Yeah, I think um, if, if, you look, if you look back at that there video that I delivered, um, we really set ourselves apart with the facilities that we have. They're, they're world class, world leading facilities in regards to um, the facilities that are there. We've got the, well, from that video, we've got newly installed gantry cranes, and we've got um, a, a range of other equipment. Um, as well as that, there here at Caffrey, we'll have the Greenmount uh, working farm. So there is implements and machinery that's being used on the farm that we um, we have access to. On top of that, there we'll have our own self-propelled silage harvester. We've got a combine harvester, and we have a range of other uh, tractors and tally handlers and machinery that we actively use that are active machines on the farm. Um, I suppose on top of that, there as well. 
um, we're trying to give students uh, things to do in the evening and, and sort of enjoy that aspect of extracurricular activity. So we've got the likes of the simulators where we hope to have a, a sort of evening club to run with the simulators and uh, they're good fun, um, the simulators as well as out there, they're, they're given an opportunity to students who may not have had access to the driving before to get the feel of driving um, as well. And then as well as that there, just with current circumstances, we haven't been able to get the engineering club back up and running, but hopefully in the, in the near future, um, that the likes of those are clubs will be uh, up and going again. Yeah, I would imagine the simulators are very popular. I'd like to have a go on those at some point myself. Yeah, the simulators are good fun. And once you get a couple of students working on them together, they, they can create their own fun. Yeah, I'm sure of that there. So, I mean, a lot of the facilities that we've, we've looked at there in, in relation specifically to the course, a lot of our students would live in, obviously, as well, uh, as you've mentioned there, Peter. Um, and William Henry, who's a foundation degree student, uh, has put together a short video here of the, of the Greenmount campus and the other facilities that are on offer for students who are living in and studying on campus. And we're going to listen to William now. My name is William Hendry and I'm a first year student here in the Foundation Degree in Agriculture and Technology course. I would like to show you around and let you see what's on offer for students who choose to live on campus. The under 18 students live in either Boyd or Fulton Hall. The bedrooms in Boyd Hall are en suite and are cosy and comfortable while Fulton Hall has a single study bedrooms which are shared bathroom facilities for a small number of students. The over 18 students stay in the self-catering accommodation in the student village, either in one of the bungalows or a lodge. Around 12 students live in each of the lodges and three in each of the bungalows. The bedrooms in the lodges are all en suite and there's a shared kitchen, sitting room, laundry facilities. Every evening, students living in campus accommodation are looked after by the residential support team. These staff with the Student Representative Council arrange activities for the students like going to the cinema, ice skating, various sporting activities or outings to Belfast. There is a gym in Greenmount Resource Centre and Sports Hall as well. The residential support team also look after the safety and security of students when they are on site. The main place to eat on campus is the Manor Restaurant which is open throughout the day from 8 in the morning to 6 at night and provides a great range of meals. The Cyber Cafe, which is in Greenmount Resource Centre, also offers snacks and drinks from 10 in the morning, so there's absolutely no excuse for anybody to go hungry. Most under 18 students have a cater card, which their parents or guardians preload with money so you don't have to carry cash about, which is very handy. One of the main places on campus for classes and recreation is the Greenmount Resource Centre, or as we call it, the GRC. This is where most of the classrooms, lecture theatres and IT suites are. The Student Services Manager is here too and can help with any queries or issues you may have. Also, this is where some of the residential support team are found in the evenings. The Cyber Cafe is also located in the GRC and serves food, which is also the main social hub for students to hang out. There's TVs, pool tables, football, as well as table tennis and computers to play games on. The core to any college is the library and I have to say, all the students love the newly refurbished library here at Greenmount. It has a great selection of relevant journals and books as well as an extensive collection of e-learning materials. The library is also a great place to study if you want just a bit of peace and quiet. Greenmount is only three miles away from the town of Antrim. It has everything you will need in terms of shopping, cafes, restaurants and entertainment and it is also around 30 minutes from Belfast. When you live on campus it is so easy to make friends and there is a real sense of community. Living away from home has made me much more independent and I love the freedom of doing my own thing. I hope you enjoyed the tour and maybe I will see you here next year. Thanks to William for that very informative uh, tour of the facilities. I should uh, add to that as well, just that students that are staying on uh, campus or staying on site here will have access to the student support and the residential team 
who will be available to answer any specific queries or issues or concerns that students might have uh, while they're on campus during the year. At this point, uh, I'm going to now turn to another student who was on the programme a number of years ago, Philip McCurry, who is now out on, uh, he's finished the programme with, and he's with Denison JCB. Uh, and Philip's going to really explain to us a wee bit about his experiences to date uh, of uh, his time at college and also then uh, working to date. Hello, my name is Philip and I'm from Langholmwood. I graduated from Greenmount this year with a level three in non-based engineering. And then you start to come and work here at Dennis and JCB. Here at Dennis and JCB, there's a range of different tasks, such as general maintenance and servicing, or you can be fit with slew gearbox and bigger. Not one day is the same, as you can be working with very little machines one day, or very many machines the next. I came to Green Mine after completing my GCSEs, and I did the Lambus Engineer course because when working on the home farm, I always enjoyed the more practical end of working with the machines. The lecturers were always very helpful if you ever needed any help or anything. I was also in the engineering club, which was on me sometimes, and there I made a bale spike with sign I used on the home farm. I would definitely recommend the course to anyone who likes working on machines, but the working conditions can sometimes be tough. Thanks to Philip uh, and his background there on his uh, experiences to date. Turning, Peter, just turn into yourself then. You were a next student on the programme a few years ago. Yeah, so this time, uh, 12 years ago, I was here in 2009 as a, as a fresh face, first year student on, I suppose at the time, it was the Land Based Technology course. And, and from that there then, I, I, at the time, I knew school wasn't for myself. And I then proceeded and uh, went on and studied in, in doing higher education. Um, and then I worked in industry for a number of years and eventually I've managed to work myself back in and coming round and doing full circle. An excellent example then of somebody who has come through the programme here at, yep. the, at the campus. Yeah. Okay, Peter, at this stage, and we're coming towards the end uh, of our virtual open day, um, it would be useful maybe just to, to recap uh, on some of the main points that you've raised. So uh, in terms of the programme, etc., could you give me, again, just a summary? Yeah, so again, the full title of the course is it's a, it's a Level 3 um, Advanced Technical Extended Diploma in Land-Based Engineering. It's delivered over two years um, with a, around a 50% uh, theory, 50% practical um, aspect of the course over the two years. There's 20 days worth or 150 hours worth of placement that ha is mandatory and has to be completed. Um, prior to coming on to the course, um, we would ask that the student is coming on to the course with a minimum of four GCSEs and we uh, need to have a grade C in maths and English uh, to be accepted onto the course or equivalent qualifications. Um, as well as that there, we also ask that the student uh, completes around 40 hours prior experience with industry. Um, so yeah, and, and as well as that, the cor course is uh, equivalent to 3A levels mm -hmm. um, that can be proceeded and progress on to uh, higher education on completion of the course. Mm -hmm. And the, it's a very practical course, as you said earlier as well? Then? Yeah, very practical, 50% uh, uh, practical, 50% theory uh, okay. over, over the two years. Okay, and in terms of finding out more information again? Yeah, so find out more information, there's information in, in the college prospectus or on the uh, college website, which is caffrey.ac. UK. Okay, thanks for that, Peter. That's been very helpful. So at this stage, as we come to the end uh, of our virtual open day, uh, I'd like to thank Peter again. I'd like to thank the production team for pulling us together. Um, I should just say as well at this point, the campus tours are now available and open online uh, on our website, cafe.ac.uk. If folks want to, to register their interest and get themselves a ticket, uh, they have the opportunity to come in and see their way around. At this stage then, uh, really all that's left for me to say is to say thanks for listening in. And I'm going to leave you now with a short video uh, that showcases all that's good at Caffrey and Greenmount, a campus that cares. Caffrey staff, supporting you to achieve your potential. Hello, I'm the Greenmount Librarian and I manage our learning resources in the library. The library was refurbished a couple of years ago and provides a welcoming place to study. Students love to come here to get books, journals or e-learning materials. It's also a great place to research on your own or in groups. As Simon and due dates approach, the library can get really busy, but I'm always on hand to offer support. 
As a student support officer, I help students who have specific learning needs. I try to make the transition from school to college life as smooth as possible and have the support in place to help them complete their qualification. I usually meet the students before they start their course and agree a bespoke programme of support. They may need some extra time during exams or the allocation of support tutors. I am also the leading safeguarding officer for CAFRI and work in partnership with all staff to ensure that learners receive a high level of pastoral care. Hi, I'm Student Services Manager at Greenway Campus. Along with the residential support team, I'm responsible for managing student accommodation and providing pastoral care to all students. We are available in the evenings and overnight to make sure that everyone stays safe and well. We organise a weekly programme of evening activities to help you make new friends and settle into college life. Your welfare and safety is our priority.